So this is I-85 at exit 22. That is the Lowell exit. So that is a Panera Bread semi-truck that's flipped over on its side and it's separated from the cab. You can see that right now. I'm gonna try to zoom in here just a little bit. So if we tilt up the camera, see if I can do this, you can see that that is I-85 here. There is, um, there is no one on the road. The whole freeway is shut down right now because of this crash. Um, and this is backed up for several miles. It's unclear if there were any injuries with this crash, but we certainly know that it's gonna be a while. This tow truck that you're looking at, the bottom left-hand side of your screen, uh, just got here about 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna zoom out, you can see that there's no traffic. That's my photographer right there, he's getting some other shots. Um, but all this traffic is being diverted around. The, red, the roads are certainly wet. But again, if you're wondering where this is, this is exit 22 in Lowell on I-85 coming into town. So the eastbound lanes are completely shut off and it is shut off for several miles. So there's a very large backup uh, and this is going into McCaddenville. So that's kind of, the, does that give you guys a better idea of yeah, where we are? Yeah, Mark, stand by, stay right there. We're gonna get back to you, but I wanna bring in Rachel Roller who has some details about this and how to get around it. Yeah, so while we're looking at that right now, as Mark said, 85 northbound. Now the block starts right there at exit 22. So if you do, for some reason, have to take this roadway or someone calls you telling you that they're stuck on 85 northbound, the recommendation is to go ahead and get off at exit 20. That's going to be NC 279. You're going to take 279 for about a half a mile and then turn left onto US 74 East. I know that's kind of complicated to listen to right now, but if you do have someone trying to get 85 northbound near exit 22, they're going to need to take exit 20.